Hello everyone, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Dumbledore's Office from 2002. So on the front of the booklet manual, see that interesting border that we've seen for the 2001 through 3 lines, and Lego logo, set number 4729, older logo, and everything that there is. And on the back, is how all the set sets can come together and whatnot. And then after the uh, PC CD ROM creator game, and also brief alternate build instructions. And also another interesting one. And and again and some special scenes made from the parts of it and also the back view of it and the different functions of it and then the last building steps so first off for our main things we of which have, have both Harry Potter himself, who of which about the same as for most of these other uh, sets of which, so no need to go over that. And Albus Dumbledore, who does appear, who did also appear in Hogwarts Castle and uh, uh, Hagrid's Hut also for this time, so not so exclusive. But the only one that is exclusive is Professor McGonagall, but in her classic green outfit. I'm not sure why green, but of course in the film was more sandish green in the film. Yeah. If I lift off, you can see face print and with that all quite exclusive to it and came in only just this one set. Kind of interesting. And you can see classic dress piece which is on those other slopes that didn't have anything in them, kind of interesting. And of course, they did update it several years later. And of course, no alternate faces or double side or back printings or whatever. But of course, since they're all older figures, but at least the better versions of McGonagall did. Do a little better over time, of course. And now then, on to Dumbledore's office itself. I think I have from bottom to top. You see, pretty tall it is. <coughs> but also, one neat thing is, if you notice that, on a couple of jagged slopes there, which most of these earlier sets do, and this of it is makes it half modular. So we'll look at one section at a time, of course. So starting out with this uh, shorter section, in which, as you can see, which does have those corner uh, pieces with bricks printed on them, like we've seen in first Hogwarts Castle set, of course, and also classic Batwing pieces, and also the, and also this uh, horse top piece that we've seen in, like, First Knight's Kingdom and things, and also the, it's all connected on larger bricks, two smallish ones and two larger ones, and of course get these, and and also get a whole lot of the longer bricks, of course. And the back part of which, which does have some of the like trans uh, lucent purple bricks, which I which I don't think it used very often, but nice to see them here. And also, of course, you get some torches around, of course. But as for the main feature of it is that you can take the scorpion piece right off 
and then slides right open. And then, like, of course, have staircase that we see a lot of times, and also that little purple door, which you can pull right up, of course, and have the mini thing go right through, of course. So, and also get this little section right here, which is a few of those odd pieces and the chrome key there. And also do get this little slot piece like we've seen in uh, Green Glatz Bank from the time. And it can swivel around, of course. And also do get one of the older letter pieces or tile that has the older letter on it, of course. And can slide through like so. that is it with this section oh, and also like I said before a few of jagged slopes on top which makes it kind of easy to split and carry around of course and that's it for that and now on to the upper section with with again with those larger pieces of course and if turn around and and as you see it does have that's more of that but what you'll see what that's about and also what the cones for it well which you'll see in a minute and also do get one of the large uh canopy pieces that are in uh Sam Green which most of these sets did have but of course kinda of common obviously and on the sides, you have those like common railing pieces that are curved and all. But as for the interiors, if you notice the stained glass window back part of which that has the key there, you can turn it around and it shows a shelf with keys and a minifix gold there, of course. And also, if you like, pull these right open and get little extra hand space is there like of course you get a the desk and chair for Dumbledore to sit in and also get this hat piece which is probably to represent the sorting hat and of course above of which is the common dish piece with these magic things on it and of course if you turn that cone from behind this thing and it makes it swirl around which is kind of fun and as you see above is of course as you can see above is that uh, trans yellow uh, cylinder piece and a couple and a red and two blue cone pieces but of course representing different potions and things so, and also you get a couple of regular flame pieces. And so now how do you connect these two together is is connect to the edges of that like so. And there. So now on to the final verdict. And overall, this I think a quite pretty good set of the time, or quite good of what it is like. Like you get playing, like you get that, like you get of course Professor McGonagall, which was exclusive to this, but at least until another sets over time, of course, and. Also, of course, get like an important part of Chamber Secrets being Dumbledore's office, of course. Although, 
Oh, also forgot to mention is one of the book pieces, which do come in a couple other sets, obviously. And, and yeah. And also, Coin does have a couple good features, like the twirly spell one and things. And Middle East, they did kind of try again, but with the 2019 Clock Tower set, of course. And also, although I think they also should have included uh, Fox the Phoenix, of course, since also reminiscent to the scenes in Chamber Secret, of course. But although, although I can kind of forgive it, but I can forgive it how this came out. And even though this is which a sign of the times where where he got something quite tall for a good price, of course. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then definitely pick this up. And if you still have access to it, then I'd say also definitely pick it up eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching.